Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to continue my introduction to Excel 2016 by talking about formulas. Formulas is the very core of what Excel is really good at, calculating stuff. So to do that, you can uh, do the simple way by simply clicking on the auto sum where you want to summarize stuff. And that gives you the sum of those numbers. And of course, the benefit is that if you change something here, and you see the numbers change um, directly. So that's the quick and somewhat dirty way of doing it. I really want you to understand what's going on here. So there are three parts to this. We're going to ignore this auto sum button for now and do the same thing manually just to explain what's going on in the background here. I'm going to start by pressing the equal sign on the keyboard. When I enter an equal sign in a cell, that means that Excel is supposed to calculate whatever comes after the equal sign. So then I could, of course, start entering the numbers 60,000 here plus 60,000. That will work just fine. And it will give me the right numbers and will do the right math. But what you really want to do is enter the cells instead, where you already have the numbers. We talked about what the, each cell has a name. This one up here has the, the name B2. This one has the name B3. So I can do B2 plus B3. And notice that Excel actually highlights this with different colors too. So that's a better way of doing it. And here you see I'm actually doing calculate. That's what the equals time means. B2 plus B3. So there I've entered my own first formula. That can be done in another way that we just saw before. Calculate the equal, equal sign. The sum of sorry, not the sum, sum, like that, of, and obviously have parentheses, and then you do the B2, and then colon, which is 2, so from B2 to B3. And there you have the same formula that, would actually, that you would actually get if you press the auto sum button. So equals sum of B2 to B3. So that's the most important lesson to know, or the most important information to know, when it comes to formulas, how they're built up. There's always an equal sign signifying that Excel is supposed to work with the information in the cell, it's supposed to do a calculation, calculate the formula that I've written there. So now we've talked about the three basic types of Excel information. We have text, which is usually left aligned, we have numbers, which are usually right aligned. And we have calculations or formulas that always start with an equal sign and usually end up right aligned too. Thank you for watching this demonstration.